Hey guys, welcome back. This week, I thought I'd take you through what a day in the life looks like for me in my off-season slash pre-season. Enjoy. So the first thing I do in the morning is lemon water. It alkalizes my system. I also love to just hydrate before I have any coffee or food. I've been doing this for quite some time and found it really beneficial. I love it for my skin as well. So ladies, there's a pro tip. The next thing I do is the love of my life, second love of my life, aside from Tom, make my coffee in my beloved coffee maker. Usually it's a oat milk cappuccino. Tom's a better barista than me, but I do what I can. Then I give Tom a kiss and harass him. He tries to pull away from time to time, but I've got him locked in. I love to do morning reading. I usually will read the Bible, and lately I've been reading a bit of the Daily Stoic. Then journaling. I love journaling, getting my thoughts on a piece of paper. I find it really therapeutic and a way for me to just kind of process everything in my life, personally and professionally. I'm a big list person. Not everyone is, but I'm old school. I like to write it down, not have it on my phone, and I love crossing it off. Then we go into meditation. I usually do 10 minutes if I'm feeling really stressed out i'll go for 20 um, but i'll do 10 minutes through the waking up app i really like that one but there's so many that you can choose from nowadays uh and then i'm gonna surf in a little bit so i do this every day kind of regardless if i surf or not but i'm gonna do my little morning mobility routine to get my body feeling good I'm not gonna lie i've been pretty stiff lately i've had a really crazy month i got some treatment from tom yesterday i'm feeling way better but I definitely need this morning routine. I can't skimp on it today. So yeah, this is just my morning, uh, I don't know what you call it, mobility routine, primer for the day. As a lot of you may know, I've had a lower back injury in the past, so doing my morning mobility has been really important. For me, it's all about getting my hips moving well, as well as my upper thoracic spine. That allows my lower back to be free during the day and everything moving and activated for when I go surf. So if you struggle with something similar, I'd recommend doing a morning routine that gets your body feeling good. Okay, so that kind of concludes my morning warm up, my morning routine. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions on it. That was like a big, I did everything. I don't always do everything, it's a lot, but I try and do that. When I'm home, I usually can. If I'm away or traveling, that's a lot harder. Um, but yeah, the waves are fun, so we're gonna go surf. Fall is definitely my favorite time of year to be home. It's our last bit of the off season, so I take advantage of our few months left at home and there's usually some really fun waves around. My dear baby, she is providing today. It looks really fun, it's peaky, it's not crowded, which is a win. I've got a new board I'm riding, so I'm gonna see how that feels.
kick too far Now I dwell in the sand like a fish on land What's up guys? Welcome back to another video. We are back home this week. We're enjoying our last few kind of weeks here until Hawaii comes around. Um, so I'm kind of just prepping for the season ahead and getting my body feeling really good, getting fit, healthy. Um, yeah, just getting ready to go for my 12th season on tour. So pretty crazy. I'm in my gym at home right now and I'm gonna do a workout. So I figured I would take you guys through it. So if you have any questions about it, leave a comment below. Hope you enjoy it. Let's get it. So first things first is my warm up. I'm a big believer in getting the blood flowing and getting things moving. Static stretching for me doesn't really do it to get me ready to work out. So I'm all about getting things moving, slowly swinging the joints around and getting my body primed to move and work out. So I used to do a lot more things like crunches and stuff like that for my core, which I have found to be very bad for your back. So if you're like me, I would stay away from the crunches. Over time, I've learned to go more slowly and core is so important to have strong and working properly. So just doing some different motions here that allow to work my core really well without hurting my lower back or anything else. My philosophy on training has changed a lot over the years just through experience. I think for a lot of surfers or athletes in general, what I want is just longevity in my career to feel good and obviously perform at my best. I've found that doing daily maintenance, and for me as a female, usually I don't have quite as much pop as a male would generally have, so doing a lot of those sort of plyometric type of things not necessarily needing to load my body and compress the joints with so much weight, but rather keep things lighter and allowing me to have that pop and power that I need to stay relevant. pretty basic run through core lower body and upper body nothing too crazy but yeah just get back and swing things so done for the day sorry that thing kills me so there you have it that is a simple day in the life for me i've found over time that there's always things we can certainly refine in our day-to-day -day life and becoming the best version of ourselves that we can be so i'm always on the hunt to continually refining whether that be my body, my mind, or my soul. I hope this was helpful for you guys and drop a comment if you had any questions. We'll see you soon. You stay silent, you don't